Hello, welcome our gear research channel. Today in this video, we are going to show some of the best yoga mat thickness that are best sold and reloaded in the last couple on Amazon. If you want more information and updated pricing on the product check the links in the description below, so let's get started with the video. Number 1 Game Essentials Thick Yoga Mat Fitness and Exercise Thick yoga mats can make balance exercises a little tricky, but they're fabulous for yin and restorative yoga, or classes where you hold positions on your knees or elbows for an extended period of time. It's also great for other floor exercises during home workouts like sit-ups and crunches. The Game Essentials Thick Yoga Mat is particularly padded, which makes it great if you've experienced pain in your knees or hip bones from other mats. That thickness comes with a couple of drawbacks. First, the cushioning makes it hard to stay stable in balance poses like Eagle or Warrior 3. Second, it is significantly wider than a standard mat when rolled, even with the straps. The tightest you can roll this mat is around 7.5 or 8 inches. Be sure to keep it clean to maintain the loft, oils and sweat can cause the foam to compress faster than average. One common complaint with more budget-friendly mats, like this one, is that they are not as durable as others. You may find that the mat sheds over time, particularly in the spots where you put your hands and feet. Because the mat is just one layer, you could use both sides to increase its lifespan if you notice rips or tears. Number 2 Game Yoga Mat, Premium 6mm Print Extra Thick The rubber-free Game Premium Yoga Mat is perfect for anyone looking for a little extra support for their elbows and knees during their weekly cat-cow poses. Clocking in at 6mm thick, the mat is twice as thick as most on the market, providing loads of joint protection. More about that thickness, though it's a whopping 6mm, the mat feels more dense than sponge-like, meaning we had zero problems finding stability, even with the extra cushion underfoot. While the grip isn't quite as firm as the Lululemon reversible mat, it is still among the strongest we tested, and definitely the best of the cheapish options. Featuring a surface full of tiny textured grooves, the mat has a tacky feel, offering up lots of springy traction, even during sweatier sessions. That said, if you're someone who wants to feel completely cemented into your mat, the Lululemon reversible is going to be a better choice. Another major selling point? That price. Not everyone wants to spend a small fortune on a yoga mat, us included. If you want to get the most bang for your buck, this is the absolute best choice at this price point. One of our favorite details about the game mat, it is a bit easier to transport because it's lighter than most. Given its diminutive mass, however, we did find the mat took the most of any mat on this list, ranging from jewel tone tribal patterns to sedate darker designs. Number 3 Yoga Mat with Strap, 1 3rd inch extra thick. If you're new to yoga and still on the fence about whether you'll make it part of your regular workout routine, there's no reason to drop $100 or more on an expensive mat. But Yovo's mat isn't going to win any awards for durability or style, but it's a solid choice if you only plan to use it every so often. It's thick and cushioned, which is great for beginners and infrequent yogis who may want a little extra padding and probably aren't working on complicated balance positions. It also comes with a strap, making it easy to carry to the gym and easy to store in the corner of a closet or under the couch. This mat has a different texture on each side, supposedly for gripping floors and providing sweat-proof traction, but I don't notice much difference between the front and the back. If yoga is a regular part of your weekly routine, you'll likely want to upgrade to a thinner, more durable mat. If you're just starting out or simply don't want to spend a lot of money, though, it's a solid choice. It is a little smaller in both length and width than most other mats. If you are taller or like having that extra space, this might not be the mat for you. But for others looking to give yoga a try or wanting to expand their practice on a tight budget, the Gayam 6mm yoga mat is a great selection. Number 4 Retrospec Solana Yoga Mat 1 and a half Thick This 1 inch thick yoga mat by Retrospec provides extra cushioning for people with joint pain or injuries. As a practitioner with bad knees myself, I can tell you the Solana Yoga Mat, $39, is a real game changer. It is nearly four times thicker than the average 6mm mat, and there is also a one half inch version for folks who want something in between. With a thicker mat, you can generally expect a little less stability, but most reviewers haven't noticed such an issue with the Solana. It is made of dense foam and non-slip rubber, ribbed on one side and smooth on the other. This mat is free of latex, heavy metals, and harsh chemicals, and it comes with a carrying strap. Some users have questioned its durability, noting that it is too stretchy and prone to rips. For such an affordable yoga mat, though, that is probably a risk worth taking. 
The extra thickness leads to a lot of added bulk when stored, making this a tough sell for a travel mat. One reviewer found it embarrassing to bring to yoga class because it was so large when rolled up. In this case, the half-inch version will be more portable and still much more cushiony than standard-sized mats. If you are looking for an at-home mat that reduces pressure on joints, the Solana 1-inch yoga mat is an excellent option. Number 5 Manduka Pro Yoga Mat Premium 6mm Thick Mat The Manduka Pro may look familiar if you've ever taken a yoga class at your gym. I've practiced in studios from Vermont to California, Costa Rica to Bali, and I've found that, after a while, you start to notice when lots of people use the same mat, even with a plain black one like this. Its universal appeal likely stems from its versatility. The Manduka Pro is thick enough to provide cushioning for relaxed classes. It's made from a unique PVC material that doesn't compromise balance. It's also 7 pounds which ensures it doesn't slide or bunch up. It's a bit heavy if you bike to class or plan to carry it all day until class, but it doesn't seem much thicker when rolled and should fit in any standard size yoga mat bag. While it is made from non-recyclable PVC, it is durable enough that you should be able to use it every day for years, maybe even decades. It also requires a little bit of maintenance. You'll need to break it in at first, but that should be a problem for frequent yogis. Just remember to wipe it down with a cleaning spray every so often. The material doesn't absorb sweat or oil, it can get a little slippery if you don't keep it clean. Like comment and share please subscribe my channel check the link in the description below, thanks for watching.